Yo, what's up, guys? Steel Gaming here. I'm gonna be playing some Terra Rising. Now, Terra Rising is a MMO. If you know, you don't know what MMO means, go Google it or something. But it is one of the best MMOs I've ever found. It's free. You can get it off the website. It's got everything that I've been looking for. Um, so, but the only problem is, is it's a slow game. You know, it takes forever to do things. But besides that, it's a really fun game and. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy it, but for the sake of time, I will uh, I will be pe picking. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I will be picking my race and class in front of you guys. But after that, I will not record me customizing it due to uh, time factor. It takes forever to customize. So uh, let's get started. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the high elf. Select class, and for. My class, I think I'm probably going to be, hmm, I think I'm going to be the Lancer. You know, click next. See, and here are some of the presets. I'll just go ahead and go through these just, you know, just to show you guys what you would get out of this game for an high elf. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and customize my character. I will see you guys in a little bit. And we're back, and here we are at the beginning of the game where you start out and you talk to this lady right here. Obviously, the person with the exclamation point above their head is the person you're going to want to talk to. So, let's go ahead and talk to her, and then I'll tell you some things about the game. So, uh, you get your first quest, you ask her for it, you go accept it, and uh, you know, go find wherever the map takes you. See, look, right here is the mini map, it has everything marked for you already. You can of course change that to where it doesn't, but I prefer it because I get lost on this game a lot. Now obviously I have played this game before, so I know how it works, but let's get started. Um, again, I'm going to be going towards the, you know, the thing with the red question mark on my mini map if you look down there right now. Uh, I guess mainly the first video of the playlist will not be, you know, like a normal video. I'm, I'm basically just going to be explaining the game and... You know, killing the first couple monsters for time's sake. I will only, for uh, yeah, for time's sake. I'm not going to show cutscenes and things like that because um, I want to get as much through it as possible within the 10 minute mark. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to this lady and uh, do some quests to level up at least to level five. I'm hoping to get to there before I have to, you know, before the 10 minute mark because. I'd like to keep it to where the video would actually only take about two hours from in so, uh, <laughs> alright, so, I'm just now starting out, here's the first monster I'm gonna kill of the game, what I like about the Lancer already is that I've noticed it has a block feature with the shield, so it's not just for show, another thing is it's not like most classes, it has two forms of protection and evading for its class. But, you know, in all, and despite, you know, seriousness, I'm not going to always be completely talking about this game. Hopefully, I will have other people online with me, and we'll just be having a good time instead of me just explaining how the game works on the first video. That's not what I like to do. I like just playing and then, you know, I like just playing and hanging out with my friends and, you know, talking and so you guys can enjoy and see what kind of conversations I engage in with <laughs> other players. You know, I'm, uh, um, yeah, I'm just basically leveling up right now. Uh, what I, what I, one thing I really love about this game, though, is the fact that you don't have to double-click the monster. And it, like, let's say I double-clicked it. It doesn't walk up there for you, and it's just... And you can't do anything. I like the fact that it's where you actually go up, attack the monster, and dodge and stuff like that. It's it's a game that you don't come by very often, which is probably why the the game is so big and why it's you know getting a lot of new players and stuff. It's it's an absolutely amazing game. I suggest it if you have a good computer or a decent gaming computer. I suggest you try it out now. I recommend you at least have four gigs of RAM play this game, and I mean, I have eight, and I still lag on this game a lot, but, uh, 
yeah, I do suggest this game. If you are into MMOs and you've been looking for something like this, this is the game for you. Um, yeah, I suggest it very highly. I think I, I may be exaggerating a little bit, but, you know, I really do enjoy this game a whole lot. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> Come here, little guy! I'm gonna stick you with my pole. I'm gonna penetrate you with the pole. That escalated quickly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> um, so, let's go ahead and turn in this quest and talk to the person so I can start getting skills. Skill, unlike, well, actually, let's get to level 3. Unlike most games, uh, MMO games, instead of auto getting, like, instead of, you know, you get the skill and as you, or as you level up, you get a skill. That, that still applies to this game, but the thing is, is you have to use in-game money to go pay for the skill. Which, I, to be honest, to me is kind of dumb, but, you know, it's the game's choice. I didn't come up with the game, I probably shouldn't complain, because, yeah. Well, uh, let's see, what else is there to talk about? Not much for the first video. Once I, I promise once I get going on this game, it'll be a lot more interesting. Right now, it's just you level up, you get a grip on the basics of the game. And you go kill your first couple monsters, and you're like, oh, yeah, so this is how the game works. But, um, once I get to the place called Lumbertown, the game will start speeding up a little bit, and it's, it'll be a lot more enjoyable, because then there'll be really big monsters, and, you know, you'll find really hard bosses, and you'll find some good players, you know, that you want to, you know, you want to go and game with the whole time. It's really fun. And, uh... One feature I like about the game is the commands, or the emotions on the game. I really like the sit emotion. I don't know why, I just do. You type in slash sit, there you go. You can, if you pick up a campfire, put a campfire there. Just hang out with your friends, sing kumbaya, whatever you want to do. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, I'm gonna go turn in this quest. I should be level 3 by then. Once you're level three, I believe you go. You get another storyline quest that has to do with a uh, Vekas the Wicked, I believe. Um, basically, Vekas, you fight a giant, or not a giant tree. He looks like the trees I was just fighting, but uh, he's like a purple tree that you go and fight. And he gives he gives you a lot of experience for this level and stuff like that. See, level three, and there there's the exclamation mark right there. Um, the only, there's another thing about this game, the storyline quests take forever to finish. So, once you get to the point where it's at Lumbertown, you will, the game seems to drag on, like, like okay, yeah, we, I've already done this, what's going on? But, uh, yeah, it just kind of repeats somewhat, but, you know, all in all, this game is really... I mean, I really love this game. I suggest it if you have a good PC. Uh, <laughs> this is pa this is practically practically the whole video right here. I'm just explaining how awesome the game is. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and kill, finish up this quest or start this quest, I should say, because um, I need the experience. I'm probably gonna fight Vekas the Wicked in the video and go through hell editing it, because this game is not going to be fun to edit, I can already tell. <laughs> uh, let's see, oh, money, somebody left their money, oh, another thing about this game, if you go and, if someone goes and kills stuff, you can't go up and take their, uh, take their drops, that's a, that's one thing I really do like about this game, because I know it's really annoying whenever you're killing something on a game, and all of a sudden someone goes up and takes your stuff, it's like, Oh my god! Ugh, that was mine! And another thing about the game, if, let's say, um, I attack something and somebody tries to come up and steal my kill. They can't do that. It goes to the first person, who, it goes to the person who attacked it first. All the XP, all the gold, everything, it's amazing. It's one of my, that's another one of my favorite things about this game, is all of the, you know, little add-ons that they have in here that, you know, help you out through the game. Um, but the thing is, is, if you get in a party with a bunch of players, um, all the XP will be cut. It's like they, it's distributed, I should say. 
and they can go and take your items. That's the only thing that I wish they couldn't do. I think it should apply, uh, I think it should apply, uh, party or not. You know, they shouldn't be able to take your stuff. Because, like I said, I, pl I played before, I have another higher level, and at that level, you need, you need party members, and they always take your stuff. It's really annoying. But, at least people who aren't in your party don't take your stuff. It's, uh, yeah. So, uh, should be finished with this quest now, I think? Yeah, there we go. And, uh, I'm gonna go fight Vekas the Wicked. I'm gonna, I may, you know what, I'll show this cutscene due to it's not very long. And I won't be talking to you during it, so, uh, you'll probably be listening to whatever music I put along with this game. So, uh, yeah, here we go. that's over with let's go kill him I'm gonna shove a pole up his butt watch uh, how does it feel took you long enough oh crap oh crap now this guy at this level is so OP it's ridiculous this guy hits thousands on you if you get hit by him that's incredibly strong for something at that level it's only level 4 and it's hitting thousands on me and this is a tank class so, imagine doing it on a class that isn't a tank and you get hit by this guy. And if this guy's defense is supposed to be extremely good, wow. Uh, oh, I got some, I got, you get, you, what, um, another thing about this game, whenever you start leveling up, you want to start, uh, crafting. And you'll see me pick up some stuff for crafting in a second, I'm sure, from this guy, but, uh, you pick up armors, most of your weapons, you do, there are no weapon shops in this game. You have to find weapons and the game provides you with weapons as you go along with the storyline. But, um, I wish they did have weapon shops, I think that would make it a bit better, but, you know, again, not my game. I don't have any room to judge, I should say. But, uh, let's go ahead and go turn in this quest. Actually, let's kill one more. Just because this is the first video game, and I'm uh, not video game, first video of the game, and I'm feeling like a rebel, so. Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> Look at that, he's a ninja. He tried to karate chop me, man. But I'm too strong for that. Ow! Oh wow, he did not hit thousands on me. That's a surprise. Oh, I'm gonna smack you with my shield. What's the matter? Can't handle it. Die! I think I think the Lancer's attacks are pretty cool. Some people think that the Lancer's attacks are boring, but I think they're cool because you're like stabbing people with a giant pole. I mean, who doesn't want to stab people? Who, who doesn't want to penetrate people with their large pole? Eh, you can catch my drift. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's get this quest turned in. You know, I'll equip whatever the guy gives me. I think he, I believe he gives me a new weapon. And, uh, hmm, how m what time is it? Where am I at? Oh, I'm level 4. You'll get to see me put on my equipment now. Let's see here, here. Uh-oh, can I put the boots? That's not good. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, let's see, inventory. Whoa. Okay, you get to, you get to see me kill one more. Never mind. Take that back. Because he was attacking a pig, and pigs are the pigs make bacon. All right. Well, this was video one. This will be the first uh, terror video of the playlist. If you want more, let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time.